Let's see. Yep, there's the problem. The battery's bad. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scooby and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now the old saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, is simply not true. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how one of my instructors taught this old dog a new trick. Alright guys, changing the batteries on these computers are super simple. These are user-friendly computers. That means you can change the battery yourself, but the battery is what we're actually going to be focused on, not necessarily the procedure of how we change it. But on these particular computers here, it's just got a little battery cover back here on the back. You can take a little coin, a quarter, uh, or maybe a half dollar, something like that. Simply stick it in and turn it. If it's not overly tight, I just take a large screwdriver here and just kind of give it a little turn. It shouldn't take much to get it going. But once you take it out, you will see that the battery is exposed. Now, one cool thing about this particular one and the trick that I just learned from one of our instructors is anytime you replace the battery, put the date on it. As you can see, this battery was placed in there in July of 2021. So for the last two and a half years, this computer has got a ton of use with our students and it's still kicking. Uh, but it just now died. So we're going to replace the battery. So we're going to throw the old battery away. We're going to get our brand new battery here. We're going to take our black magic marker and we are going to mark it with the new date. Just like so. And then we are going to place it back into the computer itself. We're going to check our O-ring. As a matter of fact, I'm going to replace this O-ring really quick. Make sure it's good and clean. Everything looks good now. Put a little bit of grease on it here. Perfect. All right, we're gonna replace this in. We're gonna screw this battery cover down. Now the key here when you replace these batteries is you don't wanna overly tighten these. And this is where a coin comes in better than the screwdriver. As you can see, the screwdriver's kind of scarring it up. Now on these particular computers, if you tear up the battery door, it's not that big a deal. You can get a brand new battery door for them, relatively inexpensive. So you do wanna be careful. We go through these computers quite regularly since they're a rental regs, or rental computers, sorry. And so I'm just gonna give it a little torque there. She should be good to go. And as you can see, battery's back up in operation. You just gotta set the date again, set the settings in it and it'll be up and going. So there you go guys, that's a neat little trick that I just learned from one of our instructors. Mark your batteries. It kind of lets you know how long that batteries last in your computer. It'll kind of tell you how many dives you can get in a single battery use. Um, and it also tell you if something else is wrong with the computer. If you're running through batteries very quickly, then it could be something internally in the computer that's wrong. It could be a setting. It could be a, a firmware issue that's running or draining that battery down. Or it could just be how you store your computer. In this case, we hang ours up so we know it's not a storage issue. But out of two and a half years, I think we should be good to go. Uh, with this particular uh, battery system. But yeah, mark your batteries in the future. It'll definitely help you out as a diver and it'll kind of let you know the health of your computer as well. But guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer your questions and help you out the best I can. But until our next video, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.